Hey, what is up, guys? So we are back. So we had a little bit of a time off to uh, regroup, should we say? Um, but yeah, back with an update. So back with another posing update for those of you that kind of want to see that bit. Um, but also just a little bit of a random prep update. So you'll probably notice that I'm a little bit more um, energetic, uh, happier. That's not necessarily because my macros have increased, but more so because I'm actually making progress again. Um, so had basically, let's rewind. So uh, maybe two or three weeks ago when I did my last video, uh, I was struggling. Um, the, the progress wasn't coming as I expected it to. Um, I was weighing every gram of rice, every grain of food, just literally everything. Step on the scales the next day, same weight. Or even, like what happened quite a few times, my weight actually went up. So extremely frustrating and if I'm totally honest with you, um, I was this close, um, or maybe this close, I don't know, uh, to quit in prep. Um, and not even uh, for the fact that it was, it's hard, I mean it is hard, uh, don't get me wrong, prep is difficult, it's tough, you're low on energy, workouts are hard, motivation, yada yada yada, I've gone over it before. But it's just the fact that I, I honestly thought I wasn't going to be able to get in condition. Um, it got to that point where like three, four, f I think maybe even five weeks of, of pretty much the same weight, weighing every single gram of food, hitting everything on the button, and I still wasn't making progress. I, I was honestly doubting myself and I just thought, I'm, I'm not going to make it. Um, so I, I was very, very close to quitting. That's why I kept kind of nudging my shows back because I was like, you know, I was just hoping that there was going to be some sort of change and boom, the tables have finally turned, thank God. Um, so to explain basically what's happened is that, yeah, I was getting increasingly frustrated. My weight spiked up to roughly 172 pounds, which is what I was before I even came to India like three months ago. And it, it was just sitting there, I felt bloated, I felt puffy, watery, out of condition, and just generally just pretty bad. I, I actually thought that I might have a food intolerance, it was that bad. I was that kind of just like feeling that bad and that rough. Um, and I thought something was seriously up with me. Um, so I thought, right, enough's enough, let's do a full kind of assessment, reassessment. Uh, so I went as my fitness pal, logged in, and check back to my lowest weight, which was actually whilst I was in India, so 166 roughly. Um, check back to my lowest weight. I was actually on 10 grams of carbs more than I am now, so I'm currently on uh, 225 carb, 175 protein and 45 fat. I was actually on 235 carb back then. And I thought, right, let's, let's check, let's see what I'm doing. Sodium. <laughs> so I noticed it was the sodium. So basically, um, I checked sort of about a week leading up to my last, um, my lowest weigh-in, and I was sitting at roughly between two and a half and three thousand, which is pretty pretty standard. So it wasn't particularly low, wasn't particularly high. It was right where I wanted to be. Um, Switch to where I was like last week, ten thousand. I'm not joking. Um, that, and that's without adding salt to my foods, which I was doing. Obviously, when you're during prep, you want to make everything taste as good as possible. So I was literally just smashing the salt on just pretty much everything. I was putting it in my oats, like my salads, just absolutely caning it. So I, I estimate that I was probably on around about 12,000 milligrams a day, which was obviously like four or five times the amount that I was on before. Um, so yeah, quite a big jump, and that was very consistent. And the reason was is that I was actually making this recipe every day. That is, I think it's on my site, but I'm going to redo it because it is that good. Um, and it's basically it's a Chinese dish, and it used chicken stock cubes and soy sauce, soy sauce. And um, yeah, basically you can't really get low sodium soy sauce over in India, or it's very difficult to track down. And similarly, uh, no low sodium chicken stock cubes either. So I worked out there was two tablespoons of sodium uh, uh, soy sauce in this recipe, one chicken stock cube. That was 6,000 milligrams of sodium just in that. So you can just imagine how easy it was for me to rack up. And there's me thinking, yeah, everything's fine. Just a little bit of soy sauce, it's not much. Double check, please double check. I'm not saying everyone should go really low sodium or anything like that, but if you are, 
struggling to uh, lose weight or something, check your sodium. If there's like a massive fluctuation, that could be why. So dropped it down back to uh, I think around 5,000 and just kind of slowly tapered it down. Bosh, five, four pounds, I think it was, four, between four and five pounds, just off. So actually hit a weigh-in uh, yesterday. Before my refeed day of 167.6, down from 171.6, so that's four pounds. And yeah, so I had my refeed yesterday, woke up today only 0.8 pounds heavier, which is not a lot after a refeed, it's usually two or three pounds heavier. So yeah, right back on track. Um, looking forward to making more progress. You can probably see from my condition, you'll be at the point where the posing is now that it's almost like someone's just kind of lifted the lid and it's like, boom, there it is. The last kind of four or five weeks wasn't a waste of time because that's kind of what I felt it was. It was just a waste of time. Um, so show dates, so we'll just do a little bit of update on that. So show dates, I actually found out there's a show uh, more local to me, uh, which is on the 7th of September in Tunbridge, Kent, uh, in the southeast England. So I think that's like an hour from me. So I'm from uh, down kind of between London and Brighton. And so that's about an hour from me, so I'm gonna do that show. I was gonna do uh, BMBF mid-August, and while I do think I could be in condition for that, it's miles away and it would just be a bit of a hassle, so I've decided to knock that one on the head. Um, go for the one uh, in Tunbridge on the 7th of September, which is MPA, which is a Lifetime Natural Bodybuilding. And then the UK DFBA, which is in Leamington Spa on the 27th. So depending on how I get on on the 7th, I may do the uh, one on the 27th. It's a completely different organization, but I just kind of want to see how I feel. If I feel that I can get leaner or, or better condition or peak better or something in those three weeks between the shows, then I will do the second show. If I do the first show and I do well or I do badly or whatever, I will just, just do that one. Um, so it's, it's kind of, we'll, we'll wait and see, but I'm really just kind of heading for that one in six weeks time. I definitely think I've probably got another three, four pounds to lose to be in good, kind of novice condition. I'm not looking for that pro condition. I mean, it'd be ideal, but I, I kind of, I feel that um, with my progress up, up till now that it's perhaps not realistic to look for that condition. But I think if I can get around the 162s, which is what I competed at, back in 2012 but I've got a little bit more muscle now 162s I'll be my leanest yet um, and I'll be pretty shredded and I will not feel kind of embarrassed on stage despite being dark brown in speedos yeah um, so that's that's the update for the, the shows uh, as far as my posing is going I think my posing is getting better um, you'll probably see uh, a couple of poses are still struggling with the front double bicep is starting to look quite bad um, it's just a case of me like kind of flexing my biceps better and also uh, any most muscular or the the ab and thigh and the most muscular when I put my leg out in front I struggle to keep my legs uh, tensed and, and looking good so just working on that at the moment uh, but other than that I think a lot of the, the poses are coming in um, pretty well but it's just again it's it's just a constant progression constant practice always be better and just just keep practicing that so yeah that's the update from me um, so I'm hoping that, um, so I'm back to the UK next Friday, uh, India's done, so I'm hoping that um, I could be a little bit more consistent now, now that I know I'm making progress, I know where I went wrong before, um, and, and the next six weeks we can start really seeing some progress, so even if it's just half a pound a week and just get properly shredded now. So like I said, I'm back to the UK on the uh, next Friday, and really want to start doing you know more videos and, and, and putting more stuff out there so uh, let me know what you want to see because pretty much the world is my own studio. I've got the, the own, my own studio or our own studio with my company and, and two good friends of mine uh, so I can do training videos and do recipe videos uh, so if you want to see that make sure you comment below about what you want to see and uh, yeah just let me know and, and let me know what you think about you know what's happened these past few weeks and, and how my condition has been and things like that um, so yeah, as always, thank you for watching and uh, make sure you like the video if you like the video and you're enjoying the content and uh, subscribe if you haven't already and fingers crossed there will be video updates every week. Um, now that I've binned off the soy sauce chicken stock cubes and the pickled gherkins which were the culprits. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching.
hopefully you stay till the end and uh, yeah, hopefully see you next week.